Well, g'day, I'm Don Burke, and if you're wondering what we're doing, this is the Burke's Backyard Bus, which exists around Brisbane. And we're actually heading around that area. In fact, at the moment, we're in the Glasshouse Mountains and going on a bit of a mystery tour. All the people here will be involved in the show. Is that exciting? Great. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Now, what, are you wondering what's on the program? Yes, I am. All right, we're going to do fastidiate plants. You are? Yes. What are they? <laughs> you will find that out shortly. Some of the other things we're doing... Well, you know what Siberian Huskies are? No. No. <laughs> We're going to road test those. Now, who would like to pick something that we should do on the program? Yup. We have some stamping. That's a great idea. That's where you make... No, I won't say what you make. You know what you make with that, don't you? All right. It's Nicholas, is it? Yes. All right. We will do that one later on. Oh, and tonight's celebrity gardener is cricketing legend, David Byrne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That will be a lot of fun. Now, we're heading off to a nursery, a special nursery, where we have daylilies. Does anybody... Do you know what daylilies are? No, I don't, Don. Well, you will shortly. Right out, Bruce. Rev her up. Well, oh, you got your book with all the yeah. stuff in it. That's pretty good. Yeah, you scored. <sighs> it's got the, the song in the back. Has it? Oh, oh, so we can all have a sing along. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. We are among the gum trees, with lots of plum trees. We're the top of the two and flowers down the side. And veggies behind the fence, all in birds. Right, well now, welcome to Mountain View Daylily Nursery. Now, you might never have heard of them. They used to be sort of boring plants and all sort of a dull yellow. These days, thousands of new colour varieties, really stunning, couldn't kill them with a brick, and they grow everywhere in Australia. And that's not too bad, is it? No. And I tell you what, if you're all good boys and girls, maybe a freebie at the end. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Through this way. Where's the toilet? <laughs> I think they're through here. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Scott, why should somebody buy daylilies? I think because of the uh, huge range of colours that we've got now. We've, we've got practically every colour except pure white and blue. And that's a fairly recent thing. Yeah, we had oh, colours years ago were basically oranges and yellows and uh, some muddy looking reds, but now look at the, the vibrant colours that we've got. It is huge. And there are also newer things like miniatures in that. Too. Miniatures in all colours, doubles, huge flower, large flowered ones. Um, spidery ones, there's all shapes and sizes and heights and uh, different foliage types as well. What areas of Australia would you recommend them for? I think you could grow them just about everywhere. I've got customers out in uh, Charleville, um, Tasmania. I think you can just about grow them anywhere. Cairns? Cairns, um, I've got uh, people up there growing them and uh, they seem to be pretty happy with them, but uh, you know, it's getting a bit hot. All you have to do is dig these things up every uh, three years and uh, divide them up. Well, now, divide them up is easy to say. Most people would be terrified about hacking these things up. Oh, apart. they're easy. They're tough. You just knock the soil off them <laughs> like that. You're showing them no respect. No, nah, no, nah, they're tough. You don't worry about that. All right. What do you do and now? Then, uh, while you've cut the foliage back... Oh, with just with a knife? Yep. So you just simply... There we are. That's how they'd get them in the mail, something like that. All right. All right, just find where there's, uh, where the divisions are. Oh, I see. Like right. that. So when you're dividing plant up, you might get anything from 3 to 15 oh, yeah, or something. 20, yeah. 20. All right, how do you plant that? Right, well, that's quite simple. You just uh, make a uh, hole, put some organic matter into it, uh, a bit of fertiliser, organic fertiliser. What sort? Oh, dynamic lifter, blood and bone, organic life. Right, and then you'd, what, cover that with a little bit more soil? Yes, make a mound and oh. spread the roots out over the mound and... Uh, shake it around a bit, water it in a little bit, and uh, cover it up and you're right. Now, what time of the year can you do that? Well, you could really do it any time of the year, but it probably would be better in autumn or uh, spring. All right. And after performing that sort of horrendous butchery, how long before it's going to do anything for you? 
Well, a lot of them will send up flowering stems straight away at this time of the year. Right. Um, most people get their daylilies in autumn or spring and of course after spring they'll flower late spring and into summer. Can you muck it up? Can you do it wrong if something no, is terrifying? No, you could if you planted it too deeply, yes. Don't, don't plant it too deeply. But other than that, hacking them about will do them no harm? No. I've heard of people who've taken to large clumps with an axe because they cannot get it apart with a knife. Good. So that's how tough they are. And don't tell me they broke the axe. Uh, <laughs> they broke their backs trying to lift the clumps up. Yes. They're beautiful, aren't they? They don't even look real. The colours are lovely. Don, these are some fabulous new varieties that I've imported from America. This is Wedding Band with the yellow edge around there. Oh, and, and this is uh, Chestnut Mountain with its very ruffled edges. And uh, these, this is Canton Harbour. Oh, they really have done some fabulous work. You must be very proud of some of the varieties you brought in. Oh, yes. And, of course, I've bred some nice ones myself. Fantastic. All right, well, look, you've all been very good, very patient and everything else. What about a free plant each? There you go. That's it. Don, when are we doing stamping? Oh, stamping coming up after the break. Is that all right? Yes.